Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to factory reset your Verizon Galaxy S5. Well, actually this will be true for any Galaxy S5, it does regardless of care. This is going to be able to be able to show you how to factory reset your device. Alright, so this is my device right here, it is running. But if your device gets stuck in some kind of boot loop, won't turn on, um, or you have just want to reset it back to the way it was when you got it, right out of the box, this is going to be the steps on how to do that. It's very, very simple. So, um, obviously you have your device turned off. Like you can see, I just turned mine off. Once you've got it turned off like this, um, you'll be able to do these next steps. So this is, this is quite simple. It's really not hard to do. Um, but uh, if you're in some kind of boot loop or you're stuck, it won't boot up. Just uh, pull your battery out and put your battery back in, and then you'll be in the powered off state, and you'll be able to do these steps. So not too hard. So basically what we're going to do here is very simple. I'm going to do it with two hands because it's a lot easier. So what you're going to do is you're going to be in the powered off state, and to get in recovery, what you're going to do is hold your home button, your volume up button on the side, and then hold your power button. Now, once I do all these steps, you're going to see a little blue in the top there. Let go of power, keep holding volume up and home, and you're going to get to this guy right here, okay? So you're like, oh, well, that, I can't do nothing here. Just got some spinny doohickey guy, right? Well, there you go. If you wait long enough, it will boot up into um, this mode right here, which is uh, very, very cool. Let's see if I can show you this a little better here. All right, so here we go, guys. This is basically what you got. This is um, stock Android recovery. And it's really important to um, know how to get in here in case you have issues with your device. So basically, if you're doing anything to your device, you want to know how to do this. Um, and like I said, this will reset your device as well. Um, a couple things I want to point out is right here is really nice. You actually can see it says Android System Recovery. It even tells you your bill number right there. I think that's new for the S5. I haven't seen that on other devices. So once you're in recovery, all you got to do is uh, you use volume up and down to scroll. Well, first option right there is um, Reboot System Now. So um, you can hit that with power and it'll just reboot out of recovery. Um, next thing you have is Apply Update from ADB, which gets a little in depth and you gotta know how to sense the commands from your computer, but it's there. The next one is Apply Update from External Storage. So if you download an OTA update to your device, put it on your SD card, you can actually apply it manually instead of, you know, having the notification that pops up and says, you know, do you want to take an OTA update or over-the-air update? This way you can apply those things manually. Um, lastly, you can apply a, an update from a cache partition. So most updates get downloaded and put into the cache partition. And uh, if it, you have one in there, you can actually click here and apply it this way as well. So there's a couple cool things you can do here. All right, last two uh, that are in here are wipes. So one is a wipe data factor reset, and one is a uh, wipe cache partition. Those are your two steps that you can do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do both of those, and this is going to factory reset the device. Now, if you want to just come in, you're having your device is being kind of buggy and laggy and stuff like that, sometimes it helps to just come into recovery and wipe cache partitions. So we're going to do that one first. So you're going to select it with power, and it's just going to run through, and that's it. You wipe cache partition. You could then reboot your device, and it should be running a little bit smoother. Um, it may take a little bit to boot up the first time once you wipe uh, cache partition, so be patient on that. And it should run a little better for you. All right, so cache actually gets repopulated as you use applications, so it's not doesn't hurt anything at all to do that. This one, on the other hand, this is wipe data factory set reset. This is going to wipe your your device completely back to stock 100%. And um, we're going to go ahead and do that this time. It'll wipe out all your passwords and everything. It does say, yes, delete all user data. So all apps, passwords, all that stuff's going to be erased. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. And it shouldn't take too long to do this. Um, it is a very, very quick uh, step. There you go. And then you want to just do reboot system now. So hit power again. And your device is going to reboot. Now, you can see standard, you know, boot up, powered by Android, all those goodies. Uh, when you wipe data factory reset, anytime you do that, your device is going to take longer to boot up. So normally this thing boots up right about there, the thing turns on. So now you're probably going to have to wait, um, I couldn't even tell you how long, 
Shoot, I mean, probably you could be up to five minutes for this thing to wipe everything. And you're going to be greeted with the initial sign-in, um, activate your phone, all that kind of good stuff. Like you would do on initial setup when you took it out of the box and you powered it on for the first time. So that's going to be how to factory set your device. Very, very simple, very easy way to do it and how to do it in stock Android recovery. Hope you guys like this. Hope this was helpful for some of you. Um, and I'm just going to let this thing boot up here. All right, there we go. That is it. Initial boot up right there. Very simple, very easy. Um, it actually took about two minutes, so not too long really. I uh, hope you guys like this video again. Like I said, this is I uh, hope this is informative for you. Please stay tuned for more on more videos here on the Galaxy S5. Um, I'll be pumping out all kinds of goodies on this like uh, you always see me do. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.